I guess we're going viral on TikTok a little bit. Not a crazy amount, but a little bit. And the reason that I am finally seeming to go viral on TikTok is not for me, but for my room, my dream coastal bedroom. I've been working on revamping and recreating my room ever since I graduated college and moved back home. I actually didn't entirely know that I was going to go the coastal route with my bedroom. I think only earlier this year did I start pivoting to fully committing to the coastal beachy look. When I did decide to commit to the coastal look, I started posting a video series on my TikTok called Building My Dream Coastal Bedroom and it seemed to resonate with a lot of people and a lot of people like the way it looked and have been saying it's their dream room but honestly it's so attainable so I wanted to make this video for you guys so you can also build your dream coastal bedroom and love the space that you live in. That being said I took the time and wrote down a bunch of bullet points on how I built this room and how you can do the same thing. So I'm gonna be going through the bullet points and sharing all of my tips and advice and hopefully this will help you guys out in building your dream coastal bedroom. The number one tip that I have when you are trying to give your room a full-blown makeover is mastering the focal point of your room. I'm sure there's a word for it in interior design, but what I mean by focal point is the first thing that you see when you walk in your room, where your eyes directly go as soon as you open the door. That's what I did. My entire room is not perfect and coastal and beachy, but the focal point is, and that's what matters. I took the focal point and mastered that one spot of my room, that spot being here, and right over there. Now that you have selected your focal point and you know exactly what part of your room to focus on first, now we are going to pick a color scheme. If you're going for the coastal bedroom like I am, which you probably are because you clicked on this video, I would definitely suggest incorporating blue into your coastal room, but really you can do any color and still make it coastal. A lot of popular coastal colors are pink, coral, seafoam green, any hue of blue, whether it's dark blue or pastel blue. A lot of beiges are very beautiful like a sandy beige or even just white everything. My room, if you couldn't tell, is white, blue, and beige or sandy colored, I guess you can say. Once you choose your color scheme, you don't need everything in your room to follow the color scheme, but the most important thing should, such as dresser, your nightstand, your desk, basic furniture like that, I think should probably follow the color scheme if you wanna have a cohesive and aesthetic look to your room. And bedding would also fit into this category. When it comes to following the color scheme, it can be really hard to remember what color your room is and what's gonna match your room. So a piece of advice that I have on helping buy things that will fit into your color scheme is take pictures of your room and keep them somewhere where you can easily access them. So your notes app or whatever. And whenever you're at the store and you're not sure if something will match your room, you can take the picture right out and you can see if it will fit in or not. This has helped me so much because something that I constantly did in the past was buy things that did not match my room at all and it would just be a mishmash of ugly color combination and it was not cute. Once I started carrying around these pictures of my room with me, it really helped me keep a more cohesive look to my room and stick to my color scheme. This next tip is for the girlies out there who don't have boatloads of money to just drop on a room transformation all at once, and that is to collect knickknacks over time. Like I said, this room took me years to put together, but throughout those years, every time I was at a local vendor or a local store where I had money and I just got paid, or if I saw something that was really affordable, I would grab it if it was coastal, matched my color scheme, or I just really liked it. And this helped me so much because I I did not have the money to just go crazy and have a room transformation all at once. So spreading this out over time and going for the long game rather than just trying to do it all at once really helped me get to where I am now. If you're someone who doesn't have a ton of money, then collect things over time. Don't try and run your wallet dry by doing it all at once. And eventually, patient, it will turn out to be your dream coastal bedroom, eventually. <laughs> 
although like I said a lot of us can't afford to just go crazy on uh, immediate room transformation the one thing that I would say is worth splurging your money on is bedding bedding is probably one of the most important things in your room because where you sleep every night you want it to be comfortable you want it to look cute because it's also usually a part of the focal point of your room so I would say if there's anything I would recommend saving up and spending on it would be bedding I actually did manage to get this bedding for a really affordable price and it's ugh. If you're wondering, I got it from Bath & Body Works two years ago, maybe even three years ago. I'm not entirely sure. And my Bath & Body Works was going out of business, so they were just having a crazy sale. And I managed to get this bedding for $40, but it's so incredibly comfortable. And I didn't even know it was going to be on sale. It was supposed to be over $100, but I was willing to splurge the money on it because I knew I wanted to sleep comfortably. And I also knew that it would be the focal point of my room. Even though I somehow managed to swindle this for a very affordable price. Bedding is the one thing that I really think you should save up and spend your money on, if anything, in your room. This next tip is another tip for us girlies who are trying to save some money and that is DIY your coastal decor. I have so many things in my room that I did myself because I just bought the products at Michael's, found some tutorials on YouTube and TikTok, and I slapped it together all by myself. They're totally doable for people who like to get crafty and they can really bring your room to life. Perfect example of a DIY beachy craft that I did is right behind me. These letters here, I did that myself. I I went to Michael's and I bought wooden letters and I also bought plaster. I don't remember if I got the plaster from Michael's. I think I may have got it from a hardware store, but if you get letters and plaster and seashells, if you have access to seashells, of course. I did because I live in a beach town, but I think you can buy seashells on Amazon or find them at any craft store. Seashells, plaster, and letters, and you can put together a perfect beachy letter decor. Another example of a coastal decor DIY that I've seen all over TikTok and Pinterest and YouTube that I actually want to do and I recently bought the products for is seashell candles. If you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever your local craft store is, they'll usually have candle wax. So if you buy the candle wax and then collect seashells or buy seashells, then you can melt the wax into the seashell and you have a perfect coastal candle. And I think that is such a cute idea and there's so many DIYs like this that really don't cost that much money that can add a huge coastal flair to to your space. Some other examples of DIY coastal decor that I've seen all over Pinterest are bikini boxes, which are everywhere now, shell garland and driftwood bikini hangers, and so much more. If you're considering doing some DIY coastal decor, I really recommend using Pinterest as your platform for inspiration because in all of my crafty days, I've found my best ideas from Pinterest. And then if you do find a good idea on Pinterest, there's usually a lot of TikTok videos on how to carry it out. So I would say go to Pinterest for your ideas and TikTok or YouTube for your tutorials. The next piece of advice I have on building your dream coastal bedroom is adding beachy plants. For me personally, I'm not the best at keeping plants alive and also I live in New York so tropical plants are not native to my state. So I buy fake plants from Marshalls, Michaels, TJ Maxx and that's what I use. Obviously it doesn't look as fantastic as real plants are but it gets the job done. So I have this hanging plant right here. I love the way hanging plants look. But as far as tropical looking plants, I have this plant right here that you can see and I have another plant in the corner over there that not sure the name of the actual plant but it just reminds me of Florida and my years going to college at the University of Tampa so that's why I got that plant but I think that incorporating beachy plants in your room can very much make your room from going to average coastal to very coastal because also it adds a pop of color and maybe breaks your color scheme a little bit but not in a way that puts your room off balance. The last thing that I'll talk about in this building your dream coastal bedroom video are the stores that I bought the bulk of my coastal decorations from. Number one is Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and HomeGoods. If I were to do a room tour right now and point out where each and every single material was from, more than half of them would be from those 
stores. Another place that I found a lot of decorations from is Hobby Lobby. My cute signs, my beach house sign, and my she shed sign, both of them are from Hobby Lobby. And I think I have a couple of other things in the room that I'm forgetting are from Hobby Lobby, but that's another great place to buy beachy decor. And sometimes you can find really cute beachy decor at Michael's, but for the most part, I go to Michael's for just getting supplies to create my own DIY beach crafts. Another store that a lot of my things are from are Ikea. This isn't necessarily coastal decor, but it's my shelving, my... Actually, I guess it's just my shelving. Yeah, but you can get a lot of good things from Ikea. Find really any furniture that you need. I also just remembered that this hanging plant is from Ikea. So they have a lot of fake plants there that you can use for your room. Last but not least, I wasn't paid to say this or anything, but I do want to shout out Bella Coastal Decor. They're a brand that reached out to me on Instagram and I've been collaborating with them for quite a few things in my coastal room. So I have to give them credit as a brand for having so many cute coastal decorations. I do think that they are more on the save your money for their products side, but the products really are great quality and they're are so cute and so unique so that's another store that made quite of the few things that are in my room this last bonus piece of advice is geared towards people who are willing to put themselves out there on social media who are maybe micro influencers or influencers or UGC content creators. Something that really helped me elevate and build my coastal bedroom and honestly the main pieces in my room were all sent to me for a collaboration with a brand on Instagram. So if you're willing to and if you have somewhat of a social media presence or are thinking about posting videos, I would definitely recommend reaching out to be brands making beachy oriented content so that brands will find you because this is something that will help you out so much whether it's a paid or unpaid collaboration where you just get the products in exchange for posting either way this is something that can really help you along the way because like I said I'm not someone who has a ton of money to just throw on a room makeover so being able to have pieces sent to me from this brand has brought my room to the absolute next level especially because a lot of these pieces are so incredibly unique like the the shell posters here, the lighthouse shelves that I have on my wall, some of my throw pillows, all of these were sent to me by a brand. If you're willing to put yourself out there, you never know what could happen and you might get some free pieces sent to you that will really change the game. All right guys, so that takes us to the end of this how to build your dream coastal bedroom video. I hope you were able to take at least one piece of advice from this video and incorporate it into your own room transformation or room makeover. Something to keep in mind guys is, again, I just found a way to master the focal point of my room. The rest of my room really isn't that crazy. So if you are thinking about building your dream bedroom, just work on your focal point and get that done. And then that's really all you need to do. You don't really need to go crazy with your entire bedroom. Another thing to note is my room is always ever-changing. For example, you probably noticed in the thumbnail there were leaves over here and I just took them down today. Not sure if I'm gonna keep them down, but it's really just, it's always gonna keep changing. But as long as you have the basic things down pat, like your bedding and your furniture and the small little nuances that you personally like, then I would say then you have your dream bedroom. If you guys are new here, I'm so happy that you found me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe subscribing if you like my vibe and my videos and I will see you next video. Bye guys!